But still, I'm leery. Oh, God, what is this? Poo-poo Nikes, poo-poo swords. What is this? Get it out of here. That's offensive. Hello and welcome back to LP's LP of the Legend of Zelda, well, Tears of the Kingdom. Last episode, we made our the, uh, way, uh, uh, well, as close to the forest as the game would allow. It would seem that something evil, thank you, Mermaid Man, is afoot. And we are going to hopefully today do something about it. I took it down to the depths where we battled a Gloom Hand and a Phantom Ganon combo. And now that we find ourselves underneath Korok Grove, I have to imagine that we're going to, what, ascend up into the forest? Because where this is, is essentially under it. Yesterday when I said we couldn't get too close to it, we would get warped out of the forest, like right here. So already, warping up, ascending through the ceiling. Oh, look at this! There's a bunch of Korok friends here! Floating ominously by the Rico Nasum light root. Rico Nasum? That sounds like a medicine that I took for allergies. <laughs> oh, either which way, we have gotten the trio of light roots as well that I sought out to do yesterday, or at least that I planned out for starting yesterday. So I don't think there's any other reason for us to hang out down here. What do you, what do you have to say, by the way, Korok? Yeah. I can't figure this out. I made it this far, but it seems like there's no way up from here. If you could jump super high, straight up, you'd be in the forest, but then there's a ceiling. It seems impossible. Oh, you simple fool. If only you had the power of the gods at your disposal. Well, do you think these are some of the great Deku Tree's roots? Yeah. That would mean the Korok Forest is directly above us, but how do we get up there? Maybe the great Deku Tree could suck me. What now? Through his roots. That's that's pretty silly. <laughs> oh, that is pretty silly. I don't know if you want to get digested by daddy. Either which way, we're going to come up through him as well? Potentially? I don't know. We have the capability to ascend, and what's even more convenient is that when we do appear on the other side, we will get a chance to look around prior to deciding whether or not we want to emerge here. Um? Oh, hot dog? Chimichangi, yeah! Get me out of the earth! I'm scrambling bambling. Take me to the shrine. Oh, wait, no. We cannot do anything. Movement is restricted. What's up? Oh, there he is. The patriarch of the forest himself. Deku Tree, the great spirit of Korok Forest. Looking a little worse for wear there, my woody friend. I'd love to, to help you out, but first, you know, I, I, gotta, I gotta do this. I gotta get the Musa no Kier Shrine, at the very least, so that I have a warp point, you know. Whatever tree-born disease you have festering inside of your rings... Well, I may need to, to leave in order to get the ingredients to help you. So, I think we'd be well served occupying this here shrine first and foremost. Uh, not selfishly. No, not at all. Swing to hit. I think that goes without saying. Ordinarily, you're not swinging if not aiming to hit. Unless, of course, you are swinging on a swing. And then probably then you're not aiming to hit, but still you get hit regardless. So what is the goal here? We want to get up there like that? Okay. I'm not necessarily certain what it specifically wants from us. But I know that I can cross the chasm this way. <laughs> this may not be exactly what you want, but they play the piano for me regardless. What what was it that they wanted? They want us to use... Like, they, they're giving us a ball in some capacity. They want us to attach the ball to a cube. Oh, that's vulgar. Let's go over here. Let's play with this ball. We need it to hit the target. Can we even reach it? We can. So, pendulum! Gravity, do your thing! Oh. Oh, perhaps not. Maybe we must equip the ball with the cube friend. Albeit a little off-center. But it should still work, right? I mean, I don't... I don't know. Yeah! Not a bullseye, but goodness gracious, that's enough for this guy. And it looks like we get to continue on doing the exact same thing, at least for one more room. They give us a log! Balls and logs! Oh my. <laughs> oh my. Can I... Can I have this? I just want to... Oh, I cannot. I was going to attach this. I was going to grab onto it and bring it over to myself, but no. Lo and behold, that is not allowed. Um, I have an idea, I suppose, how to get there. 
We could attach the log here, and then attach the cube. I mean, really, we don't even need the log. But we'll attach the cube to the log, bring it out in a way that makes it... Oh, it kind of rotated there. <laughs> Applying a little bit of torque to the overall machination, which perhaps is not great for the structural integrity of it, but... We're not concerned with that, gosh darn it. We're just concerned with whatever's holed up in this chest. Arrows or large charge, even better. Now, as for the solution of the problem itself, my dear Watson, it seems elementary. We're just going to have to, well, not ascend. Not a, not, not, not a sand. <laughs> we gotta detach these things. I think it might not be true. But I think that's what we have to do. And then I... Mm, you gonna roll off? I'm sorry, Log. You need to stay. I think we need to push this that way. And then have it, like, swing the pendulum into the thing. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. It slides like that, does it now? This changes things. I didn't realize that it was sloped, or at least that it was on a track that was sloped. So... Knowing that, maybe if we attach all these back up together like I did have, we can make a big old... Well, no, we probably don't... That would be too heavy, wouldn't it? I don't know. Let's give it a shot. Let's just... Why, why the heck not, huh? We probably need it to be down a little bit. There we go! Ooh! Wow. <laughs> that is jumping everywhere! You go that way. Now come back this way, and then what happens? I don't necessarily know that I actually know what I'm doing. Believe it or not. Believe it or not, it may come as a surprise to you, but... We're... Doodling this dandy some way. Or another. What if we grab... This... This happenings here. This happenings, please. Can I grab the hap... Can I grab you? Come here, you got... My name all over you. There we go. And we can like... Yeah. We can make this have a... Okay, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I know you're just struggling and buggling. I just want to... Oh, I'm trying to rotate the wrong thing. I see. Okay, well, that works. I want to grab the log. And then... Oh, we still can't rotate? Why can we not rotate? Why can we not rotate? I want this to... To swing all wildly. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Okay, well. <laughs> well, um... Maybe we, we detach it. I'm just gonna detach both of them so if they respawn. Oh, well, they only give us the log. That's right. So we probably don't even... Oh, it, this is gone forever. Interesting. The cube was not necessary. Oh, no, the cube's back. Okay. So the cube still might be necessary. Why? This is stumping me a little bit. I mean, I get the overall, like, goal. Of course, it's not necessarily the craziest thing in the world. The sea giant target. Uh, pit target. So easy a caveman could do it. But goodness sakes, I'm not a caveman. Although I am a man who's been in a cave, I never got the certification for it. So, we need need to, to do a thing? Can we, like, go over here? <laughs> can I just... Can I hit you? No? You need to be touched by the the ball of, of a big one? Okay. Yeah. In the arms of the ball. No! Okay, slowly. 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 Man, get up back there, Link. Come on, we're slipping down a little bit. Um... We, I can't, I can't quite see behind Link, so I don't know when we're at like the edge. I gotta just finagle and daggle. Come now. I feel like we're getting close to the end. Yeah, we are very close to the end. Here we go. Hit it. Hit it. I want you to hit it. Oh man, you gotta hit it, man. We gotta hit it with the ball. Oh. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. No, you you ball. Come back here. All right, I have needs that only you can supply me the, the requisite. Oh, sure. Yeah, well, exactly what I meant to do, really. I mean, come on. I'm, I'm 
just trying to show off for you guys at this point. Yes, no, that was exactly as I drew it up. Um, right. Uh, anyways, we have came, we saw, we conquered, we got the Orb of Light, and we now have the Warp Point as well in case we do need to leave and or return, which undoubtedly we will. You know, we're not going to spend the rest of the game here in the Korok Forest, is certainly so, but we're also probably going to want to return here at least a time or two. Now, as we all know already by this point in the Let's Play, especially those of you who have already beaten the game, Master Sword's not located here, like it was in Breath of the Wild. Master Sword's housed right up between Zelda's eyebrows, wedged in her cranium like some sort of... Well, shoot, I don't know. Ordinarily, you don't have anything wedged in your cranium, or at least I'd hope not. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying. It's not here, so maybe I don't need to come back here? Unless... I don't know. I guess we'll talk to the dude. No? I want to talk to you. I want to talk to the big dude. What about this guy? No one here wants to talk. Everyone is very somber. I think we got to go up here if we want to have court with the patriarch. What's up, buddy? Can I? I'm just going to pick this mushroom off your chin. You don't need it, do you? Is this the, this is the talking place? Oof. My stomach is not well. My stomach is not well. I ate far too many bean burritos last night, and I've got diarrhea. Well, I guess we're gonna have to do something about that. His stomach, you say? Is the stomach in here? This, this be the stomach. It's kind of gloomy. Oh, this got opened up. I remember this from Breath of the Wild. There were, there were people that, that sold stuff out of his stomach, which I guess is kind of weird. <laughs> Oh! We gotta go down there? Okay. Discovery. The Deku Tree... The Deku Tree Chasm, huh? I've got a chasm myself that tends to be... Well, active when I've had too many bean burritos, but this is ridiculous! You don't go in it! That's gross! Oh, 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 oh! That's gross, too! More... More of you, is it? Okay, well, fine. I am particularly upset with your existence. I've seen enough of you guys over the last, like, I don't know, handful of episodes. So you gotta just go. I'm just gonna swing and ding and all together sing, not your praises, but the song of your demise. All right, I've got a half dozen friends here ready to kill you too. Come here, Phantom Gizmo. Get out of the ground. Where are you at? Phantom boy. Oh, there's one more? No. No more. Get dead. Give me that hand. Give me that four. I'm going to give you a high five. Most unholiest high five. You have ever... Oh, they grabbed me right out of the air. Did you see that? <laughs> Goodness gracious. You should try out for the sports team. That was amazing. Um, We'll use the pounder. I mean, we're already taking gloom damage down here, so why the heck not? I mean, I guess I don't have it. Oh, stop. He's grabbing you, Nobo. Right in the belly. Did you see that? Goodness gracious. It was pervasive. All right, Phantom Ganon, get a Phantom Headshot, times two. Oh, Cheechamongus, you slapped me right out of the air. All right, let's 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 do a Flurry Rush on you. How about, no, no Flurry Rush? Flurry Rush, come here. Can I, can I have a little rush? You just swing at me. Eh, I didn't time it up. Well, we'll keep trying, buddy, it's fine. You got time, I got time. I mean, my friends might poke you on the side there a little bit, but hey, maybe that'll just be better off for me anyways. You know what I'm saying? Like, there we go. Sometimes you gotta say the magic words. It's an ancient incantation passed down by my forefathers and four mothers. Five mothers, actually. There's multiple. Anyways, I'm getting greedy. I'm getting greedy. Let's eat a little something here. We don't really need much because he's almost dead. But then I suppose we don't have much anyway. So, <laughs> there you go. Get another flurry rush. Oh, come on. Give me give me that flurry rush. Come on, buddy. Don't you like my sand seal shield? My sand shield? You get it? My sand sealed? <laughs> come here. Gosh, don't forget it. I'm just going to kill you. Oh, no. My club be broken. Well, we have another scimitar of the seven? Huh? Oh, the ancient blade broke off of the scimitar of the seven. Interesting. Well, how about that? Either which way, this dude's dead. So that's all that matters. We contemplate weapon things. Yeah, at a later date. As for now, we just contemplate our elate. 
Shun. How elated we are that, you know, we've cured the Deku Tree's indigestion. Very good. You know, this is what I imagine happens when I've had, like I said, too many bean burritos and I'm sucking on a bottle of Pepto-Bismol. There's a little tiny pink fighter assaulting all the demons in my gut. It's quite nice. It's like Osmosis Jones. It's a great documentary. Anyways, look at it. The spirits return to the forest. All of the glowing little specks, whatever they are, back into the sky. The Koroks come down to say hi. You did it. Thank you so much, hero. The great Deku tree is waiting for you in Korok Forest. Is that not technically where we're at? Oh, you don't, you don't want to fly me back up there? You want to just come down here? Like, <laughs> you cannot fly. Peace out. Well, I see how it is. Thankfully, we did that shrine, so we do have a warp point. But I am curious. Curious to see if there's anything else down here. I didn't see any treasure or anything. Although it did get hazy. It's interesting to me that we, we cure the demons or whatever. We, we expel the demons. We cure the Deku Tree's ailment. And it gets even more difficult to see down there. Eh, I don't know. Maybe it's just it's holy, holy dust. Oh, this is as high as we go? We can get no higher. Is this something? Can I ascend through this? It's undoubtedly what this little alcove was made for. Probably quicker to just fast travel to the shrine. Unless, of course, this takes us all the way to the top. Which it looks like it might. Given the overall time. Yeah, look at that. Right in the hole, this dude's like, Ah, what the heck? <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I'm a demon. Just kidding. I'm on your side. And hey, Hestu's here. What's up, bud? I don't have enough C... Ooh, ooh. Pottery. It's nut pottery, but it's pottery all the same, and my link-like urges cannot be tamed. What's up, bud? Uh, oh, so it is you. Hmm. I must apologize. I am still quite groggy, as though I am awakening from a bad dream. You rid me of the unpleasant list deep within me. My bowels were done quaking. Yes, you went to great trouble to restore me. Thank you. It has been some time since we last spoke. Have you been well? Hmm. Yes, yes, the last time we spoke was when you came here with the princess to retrieve the Master Sword. I remember like it was yesterday. Boom shakalaka. So this is a clip, a cutback from it Breath of the Wild? To see you. Or the end of Breath of the Wild? Princess Zelda of Hyrule and Link, Keeper of the Master Sword. Your blade has been fully restored. Go on then, Link. Draw it once more. No, this is not from Breath of the Wild. Like, in, when is this supposed to be happening? And man, Link pulled that thing out way easier than I've ever seen. Ordinarily, he's grunting and sweating like he's at some sort of all-you-can-eat buffet. Great Deku Tree. Thank you so much. <laughs> there is no need for thanks. I merely watched over its renewal. Love the cherry blossoms, Great Deku Tree. The it pink looks great on you. It is that a sword can heal itself, no matter how badly damaged it becomes. It can do more than heal. The sword will continue to gain strength if bathed in sacred power. The stronger that power, the more powerful the sword becomes. The potential of this fabled blade may well be limitless. Truly the work of a goddess. A sword that grows ever stronger. Sounds dangerous, frankly. Thank God Link's a good guy. Master sword. So I'm guessing this is a cutscene falling between the events of Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, like after the great final showdown with Calamity Ganon. Sword had to... You know, sword got to be recharged, right? to hit low battery mode, and frankly, they don't want to go on that, so they plug it in, and now it's good. Or at least, well, then it was. But the sword, it would seem that you no longer wield it. Where has it gone? What is this, then? You do not know where the Master Sword is? I see. Yet, I can sense it, even now. There can be no mistake. Open your map. 
Look at the sky. Look west. It's here. I mean, I do know where it is. It's moving. <laughs> in the sky, I feel the Master Sword's presence strongly in this area. But what could this mean? The Master Sword seems to be moving. Ooh. You may need to rest. You need to be resourceful to reach that sword, but you must find a way. Surely the Master Sword is awaiting you just as you are seeking it. Trail of the Master Sword complete. So it would seem that now we are tasked with grabbing the sword straight out of Zelda's forehead. I love the Deku Tree's pink leaves. It's so pretty. Pink's a great color. It really is. Now, I'm not going to head that direction specifically this instant. I want to kind of poke around here. I mean, now that we've healed the location, what has changed from Breath of the Wild to Tears of the Kingdom? A note from Maka. Just climb into this tree's mouth to leave the forest. I promise it won't eat you. With a fast travel out of the forest. I don't want that. <laughs> That's kind of the opposite of what I'm trying to do, Kaka. I, I thank you for it, but I need to poke around the forest a little bit. Uh, there's got to be a shrine close by. To the right? To the, I mean, I hear it buzzing and beeping. Maybe it's up there. Okay, well, we'll, we'll get to it, I suppose, in all due time. But there is... Assuredly, assuredly, lots here for us. And really, even if there's not, it's still fine because this is a pleasant place. I mean, I have really good memories in general of like foresty areas, specifically in Legend of Zelda games, because as I've mentioned before, my great Zelda love affair started in large part with the Ocarina of Time. And as we all know, that game starts you out in Kokiri Forest. I mean, I think I've gone, oh man, like the last 25 years with the Kokiri and Lost Woods, both of those theme songs stuck in my head. On loop! On loop, doctors are baffled. But frankly, I've stopped doing anything about it. Anyways, the point is, this feels nice. It feels at home, especially with the green garb that we have sensed adorned our hero in. And granted, it's the Wind Waker clothing. Still good. Now we've hit the Lost Woods portion. Uh, I feel like that stuff's coming up to grab me. I don't like that. Don't grab me. I'll go this way. Can you not grab me? And yeah, now we're back into the forest. Okay, here we go. Here's a, here's a little pathway. I was like, there's got to be a way to the shrine. And look at this. It's a carrying quest. Well, we might as well just grab it and see. Well, let's talk to it first and see where it needs to go. No touching us, mine. Give it to me, you freaking seed. Isn't that green color so pretty? I want it. What? You can't have it. No, I found it. But, but if you do something for me, maybe. What do you have? I love golden apples, so bring me five. Keep following, go real far. You find a big bog, and they've got golden apples. Monsters, so you don't pick them. Yes, the bog is bottomless. I don't fall, but you gotta be golden, all right? And don't paint them, okay? I tried eating the spray paint, and I got sick and started throwing up, so you don't do that. Just bring me five. Do I have five? I've got two. Oh, no. Okay, so go this way. Go this way, find the tree. Mido's Swamp, specifically? So northeast of us? All right, well, fine. I was hoping that I'd have them and could just grab it, but lo and behold, no, and hey, there's where the shrine goes once we do have it. What is that? Oh, that's a fire keys. no thanks. You're burning the forest, Poopy, what are you doing? Yogi Bear, rolling in his grave. We got regular apples. Yes, yes, very, very intimidating. I'm just gonna keep going this way. Making our way to the swamp, surely, but, but surely. Excuse me. Thank you. Yes, you're all. Oh, no, I'm getting bogged down. No, don't bog me, buddy. Oh, yikes. Not the electric powers. I'm particularly uh, pleased with that. Gosh darn near the swamp here. Thankfully, they've got a number of nice little lights for us. Whee! What is that? Noctorock? Get out of here, buddy. Don't you drown me, poopy. Don't you drown me! Very good, we made it. And look at this, a whiz robe. Isn't it just heinous? So we need... Oh, oh, we're, we're sinking. Just need to cross all this. Give me up. Oh, God, no! We sank quicker than a sack of potatoes in a bread basket. What was that? 
I thought we had a little bit more time. Thankfully, it respawned us over here just in time to get freaking electrocuted. Let's eat something before we kill over. Give me some eggs. Give me some eggs. Move it, Wizrobe. I don't have time to deal with you or the fire boy. We're going this way. See you later. <laughs> I need some apple. Ooh, and there's a good amount of them, actually. Let's just do that. Yeah. Pick the apples, let them regrow. No! Destroy the trees where they stand. Just like the hero we are. Okay. Uh, very nice of you, uh, <laughs> Manero. Manero's like, nah, I'm not getting anywhere near that. You guys have fun. I'm going to stay back here. And frankly, don't blame her. Don't blame her at all. Though I would like it if she'd actually, I don't know, swing her arms or something. Or is she even equipped to? We might need to give her some more fusion capabilities. We'll evaluate that here once we get back. Uh, can, we, can we get up? Thank you. Oh, what a beautiful mouth you have. Over here. Oh, really? Really, you enchilada? What are you doing? Come on now. We're just drowning all over the place here. Not necessarily a great spot for us. Can we just climb this tree and glide over? Yeah. That'll work. See you later, nerds. Can't be part of that. No, not me. Not now, not ever. And, yep, okay, I would say we should be looking for the big moblin and then his bokoblins or stoblins or staloblins or whatever they're called. Speaking of which, do we have photos of these people? I do not. A stalcoblin. Stalfos, I mean, stal is the, the skeletal. I need the big one. Stalmoblin. Oh, you gonna, you gonna electrocute me? Mm -mm. Big stinker. All right. I'm gonna go tell your parents. I'm gonna tell your parents. Your parents called and they said you gotta die! Oh, buddy, you getting fried now! This is what you asked for. You can't be assaulting strangers and then wondering why you are dying. That's just the natural order of things. Get out of here. Stop trying to grab things. No. These are all mine. Your body parts now exist solely to upgrade my clothing. Cheech among us. Anyways, before we were so rudely sidetracked, we were nearly here. Blow me, Tolan! Blow me, Tolan! There we go! Thank you! And I didn't even check. We did get enough, didn't we? We had to have. Yeah, we've got eight. So we'll still have the three that we... Or do we have three or two? Either which way, we made a profit. We have more than we're going to be giving him. So here you are! Feast up! Eat the apples, Ryuk! Goodness gracious. Follow the beam to its end. I wonder where could it be going? Where possibly could it be leading us to? Where? Oh, where? Oh! Right there. Very nice. You know, some people would say this is too easy of a quest. Some may say it's too fetchy of a quest. Others may say... And to all of them, I'd say... What? Because it doesn't matter. We're at the Poo Poo Inky. The Poo Poo Nike. Poo Poo Nikes! <laughs> My favorite sneakers! Very good. Alright, I have offered the crystals to the great sage of getting poop on your shoes, and now I will claim my prize. Ideally, of course. It's always possible that it's not a blessing. I think that's happened maybe once for these little crystal recovery ones, but that felt like a, a task, yeah. Although I gotta stop myself, because we know Raru's blessings are not always all they may seem. I guess technically it'd be called an unlit blessing in that instance. But still, I'm leery. Oh god, what is this? Poo-poo Nikes, poo-poo swords! What is this? Get it out of here. That's offensive. Uh, it's a two-handed weapon, no less, and it's a tan. A tan? I can't even touch that. It would be against my creed. Don't you see? Much like a Mandalorian, weapons are part of my religion, but my weapons have to be at least, at least a 12. Well, that's four orbs of light. Is there a goddess statue in the forest? It seems like the sort of place there would be, right? They tend to find themselves in important locales, and I mm, not, many, not many locations in the overall Zelda franchise are more important uh, than the location where the Great Deku Tree finds himself. That being said, I did not see one. I did not see one. We need to go left. We need to grow up this tree. We need to go left. Tomatoes? Oh, God. Delicious. 
Now, if we look inside of the Deku Tree's belly, will the stores have returned? Why is it playing the four? Okay, I was like, why, why, why are we getting the ding dongs? We should be getting the the jolly happy forest music here. Now, if we if we go root around inside the belly of the tree, will the store people have returned? Because if they have, that feels to me like the location where a goddess statue would be. Let's see here. Yeah, look at that. You can't hide from me. I know your secrets. Give me these. Oh no, these are for purchase. But I cured the guy. Can't you just give me some? What else you got here? What are those? Oh, bright bloom seeds. Regular size? No. Arrows? Yes. Sugar? Mm, ooh, rice? Darn it, I wanted wheat. <gasps> it's wheat. It's wheat. We can make a pizza. I'll take them all. I'll take them all, baby. Ooh, give me that. While I'm here, give me everything. I'll take your one apple. Yeah, that is an expensive apple, 12, but hey, whatever. I got money. All right, I got 3,000 rupees burning a hole in my back pocket. A lot of money. All right, and we haven't come across a new town. I don't know that there are any more new towns, are there? We've ex established all of the towers. I think we've been to every town, so we're not going to have to buy any more clothing. Well, that's not necessarily true, actually. We still need to buy, like, the stuff at Goron Village. So there is a little bit more clothing we need to buy. But that being said, we, we have most of it. So let's ignite this, and let's make a freaking pizza, dude. <laughs> let's make a pizza! Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting there. Yes, I know, you guys probably don't like fire. Pizza time! Now, what was pizza? It was cheese, tomato, and wheat? Cheese, tomato, wheat, I think. I mean, it sounds intuitive, right? Uh, I hope to Hylia that I'm not about to screw this up. I don't have a whole lot of wheat to... Not an apple. Apples? Red. Yes. Round. Sort of. Tomatoes? Mmm. -hmm. Probably not going to taste the same. Not at all. <laughs> oh, you try substituting an apple for your tomato, you might have some... Mm, unhappy pizza eaters. Where are my tomatoes? Where are the tomatoes? There they are, right next to the... Amazing. Amazing. I swear I have eyes. I promise you. Anyways. Yes, Link. Smile. Gaze upon it as you boil a pizza. Oh, man. Hylian tomato pizza. A pizza made with fresh Hylian tomato slices of melty hot no cheese. Make it mm, irresistible. You know what else is irresistible? The call of the Master Sword, which is exactly where we're going tomorrow. So, thank you so very much for watching. I sincerely do appreciate it, and I hope that you enjoyed yourself. If you did, please consider liking the video, sharing it even, or leaving a comment with your favorite type of pizza. Because pizza is now all I can think about. So yeah, <laughs> please tell me. Either which way, I'm just glad you were here today, and I hope that I see you tomorrow. <laughs>